I love seeing people when they're new to this type of training. Like Aki is a perfect example of this. She doesn't know that she, she doesn't know how not to send it. <laughs> and so, you know, you have to kind of learn that. But once it's learned, it can actually like hold you back a little bit because you you know where to stop in order to not go that route. Now, I, I kind of want to talk about this idea of consistency because one of the things that we talk about in the write-up is how trying to hit intensity every day or trying not to take rest days, and this was kind of my issue with the three months of no rest days, can actually, in the long run, hurt your consistency. Because if you feel, and this is a problem that people have a lot of times when they go to gyms where they are um, maybe feel like they need to compete with the person next to them, uh, they feel like if they can't perform at the level that they're capable of seven days a week or even five days a week, they just won't work out. It's like, oh, uh, whatever. Like, I'm exhausted today. I don't even want to, like, I, my time's going to be slow. I know so many people who in that situation would choose not to work out as opposed to just moving and not starting the clock. And I think that's where having this idea that you need intensity every day or a certain number of days a week that you have to hit no matter what with intensity will actually mess up consistency in the long run. And I know, like, when we first started, I mean, we were like that where if you weren't going to have a good workout or you were going to look bad, you just almost didn't want to work out at all. Mm -hmm. 